Alan Timbo here with another make video. Uh, so today what we're going to talk about is, uh, well not paints, but yeah, kind of paints, but uh, paint rack. Uh, I've uh, got into miniatures painting. Uh, this is a gelatinous cube uh, for Dungeons and Dragons. This is a character of mine that I uh, run. Uh, the dwarf artificer. Uh, anyway, so yeah. Uh, oh yeah, and I also am getting into uh, a game, uh, Star Wars Legion. Uh, so uh, I'm going to start painting those as well. Uh, I've got a lot of paints. I've invested a lot of money in this already. Um, I bought some more paints, uh, but I don't have any more room on my paint rack. Um, so I decided and I wanted to get another paint rack. This is uh, printed out. I found the files on Thingiverse. Uh, I'll link them in the description. Uh, I don't know how to put a uh, a link on the, sc the screen for while you're watching yet. So uh, anyway, um, but uh, I, I didn't want a, something so as long. I wanted something that would just hold the maybe like these 16 paints and uh, a few more. So um, I uh, drew one up in CAD. I took some of the dimensions from this rack and uh, kind of put uh, my own spin on the design. Uh, some things I didn't like about this one, it uses way too much plastic for one thing. Uh, and uh, the, well, that's pretty much it. It's just, uh, it, I think that, uh, it's uh, it took too long to print and used too much uh, plastic. Uh, so you'll see my design process, uh, or I'll, I'll bring it up on the screen. My uh, the design in CAD, and uh, you'll uh, I'll talk a little bit about my design process, and uh, then uh, we'll come back over to the desk, and uh, I'll uh, bring the parts that I printed over and we'll uh, put it together and, and see how it works. All right, we'll uh, see you on the flip side. All right, here we are. So this is the paint rack. Um, as you can see, I went with sort of a hexagon or honeycomb pattern uh, motif. Uh, and uh, while that might look cool, uh, what that actually it serves another purpose. Uh, it uses less plastic. Uh, I didn't want to just have open areas so I, uh, because I didn't want to also uh, lose the integrity of the, 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 the structure of the, the plating here. So uh, while it uses less plastic, it theoretically should still be uh, still strong. So um, that's uh, basically why I went with the honeycomb. Uh, it, uh, I designed it with some tolerances for the, the tabs and slots to fit. Um, however, I, I already printed it out. It's sitting over at my desk, but and I tested it, and it's, they're too loose. I'm going to have to glue it, but th that's okay. It'll just stay together. Um, maybe in, if I need to expand on this, I'll... Uh, make these tabs bigger or the slots smaller so it could just be friction fit together and uh, I won't have to glue. But uh, yeah, this is it. Uh, it's Paint Rack Plus. Uh, again, I, I found the, the file, uh, it's a, a pattern after the file I found on Thingiverse, um, but uh, I think mine's a little better because, well, I made it. So. Uh, Anyway, uh, we're going to go back over to the desk and uh, put this thing together. All right, uh, we're back at the desk. Uh, these are all the parts, uh, the sides, the shelves, the supports, etc. So um, I think the first thing I'm going to do is uh, glue on the uh, the bottom front shelf and uh, then we'll go up from there but uh, yeah so you can see what I was talking about the, uh, the friction fit didn't uh, 
fit so well as I had wanted. Um, you know, that happens. Uh, sometimes I envisioned the, because I had such a big hard time putting this one together, I had to file and sand things down. I, uh, I kind of went a little too far the other way. Uh, instead of uh, instead of fitting together, it's too loose. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and work and glue this together. Uh, we'll speed up the video, and uh, we'll uh, open these paints up and uh, fit them in there. Hopefully they fit. I uh, have not yet tested it, so uh, we'll find out. So uh, here we go. Assembled. Um, what I was using is this uh, Insta set uh, from Bob Smith Industries. Uh, it's a uh, accelerator. Uh, it helps the uh, the Max Secure glue. Uh, also from Bob Smith Industries. Uh, not really dry faster, but just uh, bond quicker. So uh, I'm not sitting here holding uh, each bond for 30 seconds. Uh, it works really well. I highly recommend it, but uh, right, we'll open these paints up and uh, load up the, uh, the paint rack. All right, there it is. And I got room for, what, six more. So, yeah, math was right. All right, just a little uh, post comment here. Uh, so, yeah, I uh, kind of screwed up, I guess, on the measurements. The um, It's not uniform with the other rack. So I guess I uh, didn't measure it properly it's just it's the correct height but each uh tier is uh, shorter than the one uh, next to it so i don't know what happened there uh also um compared to well i guess they're both a little bendy mine's more bendy <laughs> so maybe that theory about the honeycomb uh structure still being giving its strength is wrong so uh, don't go repeating that. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's it for today. Uh, hope you liked the video. If you did, uh, hit subscribe, hit like, comment uh, with any questions or just uh, anything you want to say or just want to say hi. And uh, uh, hopefully uh, I'll be uh, uploading another video shortly.